Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be explaining uh, Newton's three laws. Newton's first law describes how the object behaves when no force is acting on it. That means the rocket, we have taken example here as the rocket, the rocket remains stationary unless if you are not applying any external forces. External forces here is in terms of uh, igniting the rocket. Whenever we are igniting the rocket, then it gets a force to lift the rocket. Then only rocket will move. Otherwise, rocket will remain in a stationary place. That is what the Newton's first law talks about. Here the formula is F is equal to zero. F represents a net force acting on an object. Here in the model, we have depicted a syringe to move the rocket. But in real, we use ignition to ignite the rocket to move on until otherwise if you're not putting external force the rocket remains stationary that is what the newton's first law talks about now we will uh, demonstrate if we apply the force using this uh, syringes only this rocket will move otherwise rocket is still in stationary so we will demonstrate how the rocket will move when we presses the syringe. Now, when we press the syringe, you can see, right, the rocket is moving. That means we have put the external forces so that the rocket can move from stationary. That is what all about Newton's first law of motion. Now we will learn about the Newton second law. What the Newton second law talks about? It is F is equal to Ma. That, that is net force is equal to mass the times of acceleration f stands for force m stands for mass and a stands for acceleration by taking the rocket example we wanted to explain how this newton second law of motion really works the newton second law talks about f is equal to ma here the when the rocket, when the rocket engine ignites, they pushes hot gases out the back. This creates a force that pushes rocket the forward. The Newton second law says that force depends on two things. Here, the force depends on two things. One is mass and another one is acceleration. The mass, how much stuff it is in the rocket. The rocket will have fuel, payload and the rocket itself. It will have fuel also they will be kept here and there is a payload also will be there where rockets will have satellites, everything attached to the rockets and it will have fuel as well and the rocket weight as well. The, this includes everything as a mass of the rocket. The next factor which is going to impact force is acceleration how quickly the rocket speed changes over time that is what f is equal to ma now the newton second law tells us that make a rocket go fast you need to push it with a lot of force if rockets want to move fast that means you have to put lot of force for it the lot of force here is it is depends on how much uh, mass is there and how much acceleration we give. The acceleration we can give to the rocket is by having powerful engines to give them speed they need to reach the space. That is what the acceleration will, the rocket will get it whenever we are trying to ignite the rocket. That is what we wanted to explain here. We will demonstrate uh, how this uh, Newton's second law of motion really works here. Here we have depicted A for acceleration, M is a mass of the rocket and force is F. Whenever a rocket ignites, the force, it will push us the rocket object, which is mass, in such a way that if we put a more acceleration, this rocket will move further into the space. Now we will demonstrate how this uh, Newton's uh, second law really works here. Now we are trying to put the force 
and as well as acceleration now you can see how the rocket is moving from one place to the another where we have the force is also is in place and also acceleration we are put in hence the rocket is moved in a such a high speed now i will explain newton's third law so what is all about uh, newton's third law the newton third law says that every action has an equal and opposite reaction that is the statement of newton's third law if you take a rocket example how this works in rocket the burning fuel creates a push on the front of the rocket pushing it to forward this creates an equal and opposite uh, push and external gases backward that's how the rocket moves on whenever there is a burning of fuel happens if you can see right there is a ignition when there is a ignition in the rocket suddenly the odd gases will come out and with that odd gases the rocket is going to move forward and the gases will come down that is where the action and reaction will happen here action is force on the gases that is what the action when this kind of action happens then there is a reaction is the rocket is going to move to the space that is the reaction of the rocket and the rocket moves up to the space that is what the newton's third law talks about so we will demonstrate by using the syringes how this rocket is going to move whenever we are giving a push to the syringe now the rocket will move forward onto the top of the space that is what the reaction is going to happen here the action we did it here is pushing the syringe now the reaction we saw is rocket is moved into the space that's what we wanted to depict in this working model i hope uh, you guys got a clear idea now what is all about newton's first law newton's second law and newton's third law if you guys really like this video please click on like button if you guys are not subscribed do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care